Well, hello. Uh, welcome to today's show. Today we are going to look at this light set bought off of Amazon.com. It's a solar light, as you can tell by the big solar light written across the top of it. It has a panel on the top. If I can rotate it in the right direction, we can look at the, what the bottom looks like. They have a couple banks of multi-bead or multi-LED. It's an array of LEDs, and there's like three sets of those. And the, and the top two actually have a third tiny little skinny set right in the middle. And the bottom one has actually the switch and the sensor button, that sort of thing, and the radar output. And the black part, I'm assuming, is where the batteries go. If we turn it on this side, we get a suggestive uh, mounting technique where we just bolt it to a wall. It'll also bolt to a pole. I have it bolted to some two-inch poles. They're a little low to the ground from what they recommend. And it does affect the radar a little bit. It says they're IP65, which means you can rain on them. There's two per pack. And I think the length of that arm is partially to keep short cycling or to reduce the chance of short cycling. Imagine if you're a very bright light against a white painted brick wall like you see here that we might come on full bright and go, oh, it's daylight. We have too much light. Let's turn back off. And it turns back off and it goes, hey, it's dark out here. Let's turn back on. All right. So uh, that may be a an important feature if you're mounting it on a solid surface that reflects light. We flip it around one more time. We get the model number, which you may not be able to see, so I'll read it to you and it does a good job of reminding you it's a solar light so it has a big solar panel on the top to keep the batteries charged so let's read this part number to you so that you can identify these properly on Amazon that says here this is a model WLM 455-SLA-9W Dash 01 it says they are 6 volt 9 watt solar panels 6500 Kelvin and it has 80 a CRI of 80 which means it's not supposed to shove your colors off too terribly bad made out of ABS and cast iron battery 70 to 100 milliamp hours range of illumination 100 square meters which would be 10 by 10 meters right and that's about three foot a little more than three foot so it's basically a you know a 30 by 30 square what they say they'll do if you mount them high enough up off the ground they'll do that and it does sort of affect it so come on back for a story and a show right now we have to roll title roll Well, now we got that done. Uh, we've talked about these bought on Amazon. Uh, the exact name that is being sold under, I think there are a lot of different names. So you can look at the product and probably get a good idea what it is. But the current name I'll put up on the screen from the Amazon invoice, what this set is being sold from. Now, I read some of the reviews, and they had some, some good ones and some not so good ones. I read the, the couple of the bad ones. We'll talk about them in a minute. But why am I putting these up? Well. If I can switch over to this other screen, a couple of years ago, I bought a similar, well, not quite like a parking lot light, but uh, like a mount on the side of your house light, and I converted it with a mast bolt, which is a U-bolt with a clamp on one side, so that I could take this Harbor Freight little kind of, looks like one of the old quartz uh, halogen lights with uh, the old hanging down uh, motion detector, very kind of comparable thing, a little baby solar panel at the road because there's no power out there. And I'll show you why I put it out there because I was trying to do a public service for my little community. All right, here we have, we see something that you may be able to make out on your screen. That's a little deer at this point. We can see that the light has already been triggered. So somebody's already run through here and we'll go ahead and hit the video and I'll show you how it becomes a public interest kind of thing. Now that was the the camera making its adjustment to the exposure the light was actually already on and here they come running across and we're not done yet and i have one of my neighbors coming up the road to, to uh, i guess uh, come home from a night shift and so we brought that there all right i thought it might be a swell idea to put the light out there so that when the light comes on it's not that the deer can't see it's so that if the light comes on, somebody's coming down my road, which is a pretty long straightaway. If they're coming too fast, they see that light come on. Maybe they'll spot a deer and we won't have a, a, somebody get hurt, if, you know, kind of a, a bad accident right in front of my house because I like to sleep late and I might not want to be awakened in the middle of the night. And I certainly don't want anybody to get hurt. So I put that light out there. Uh, just to kind of turn on when the critters ran across the road to hope somebody wouldn't get hit there. It also helps me see a little bit better when I do have motion at the road with that camera. The problem I had observed the other morning I got up, I, I, I saw it and it did not have 
uh, from what I could tell, it was no longer working in the morning. It wouldn't make it through the night. Now, that light supposedly could go all night and it like on a minimum and it would brighten up when something hit it, but I've never used it for that. I've always had it in the be as quiet as possible and only if something triggers it do I want the light to come on. So we have another video we want to look at. All right, now this is the, the old light on the pole. Now I'll go ahead and let it run because this video I got it muted. But you can see we have kind of this old kind of standard looking light fixture. And what we have is the solar panel I put on top to see if I could get it to work. It was hanging off its mount, which was vertical. And that's supposed to keep it charged enough, but it got where it didn't. And I tried to wiggle it a little bit to get it pointed more up, more vertical, and it just broke. So I just stuck it up on top while I waited for the new lights to come in. I have a couple of little short clips because this is where we start to get our story going on here. I bought these lights through Amazon and I told you I looked at some of the reviews and, and a lot of them were very glowing and some were not so glowing. One of which is complaint, their failure mimicked a lot like what I just saw happen with the first set of these. I had to return them because they wouldn't operate correctly. And they, by, by the description of what I was reading on a previous review, it sounded just like my problem. So I've often wondered here, here of late, as the economy turned a little more aggressive on us, I've started to get the feeling like I had received somebody else's broken merchandise. I'm not saying that this person or salespeople, whoever owned this company, did that. But I have seen something I swear was used when it was supposed to be new. And when I made a comment on the review on Amazon, Amazon just deletes it. So I don't know if it's happening or what, but I'm just saying we might have some common mode failures and maybe I just got a, a batch of lights that did something wrong the way the, somebody else had already commented they didn't do right. But anyway, that's what we got going on. Let's look over here at that left panel. I have this little video and we'll go ahead and trip it. And one of the things I noticed was one of the lights would come on as it was supposed to, but then dim pretty quick into the night. The other one would come on go a little bit longer, but then it would die in the middle of the light. So the one that went on minimum actually lasted longer in the day. So that seemed to be the same complaint I saw in a review. Now we're looking at this, waiting for this to clip. It's going to come through here about uh, about five or uh, four fifty three. We'll see the first one come on and it appears to work. Now neither of these two lights actually did the radar bit. Motion, no matter where I move, the motion detection simply did not work for me. So that makes me wonder, well, I looked at the instruction. Instructions suggest that there that it be about nine foot something, nine foot and a half, nine foot eight or something like that. I'm a little lower than that. So I could see that perhaps that would affect my radar function, but it wouldn't work, period. And then I looked at the lights. Like I said, I was getting that weirdness where they both would come on after having charged, but one of them almost immediately would go into dim or maintenance mode, and the other one would stay on bright. Uh, brighter if I put them on fixed like I tried them one day on fives because they say they'll go full brightness overnight. They won't. This the set, the first set wouldn't. The first set, so I put them on 50 and they were dead by morning. The last set, before, while I had the others ordered, I had them set on like three clicks from the bottom. They would maintain that a little while. I'd put them on the date, uh, night time comes here in the hollow about five o'clock. They would come on. You just saw them coming on. And they would go for about seven, eight o'clock at night. By 10, they're both dim, and by morning, they're dead. So this next clip, we're going to watch them. Uh, the video, the nest caught them dimming down, and we'll see about when they do that. Let's go ahead and roll that clip. And you can see them. They're still on bright at this point in time. Uh, we're about 7.43 p.m. that day. And then when the next time we see a change, we're, we're already off by 11.43. So we know that they would not make it all the way through the night set on manual three, you know, three out of 10 or whatever, how many steps are, they wouldn't hold. They just go, the, the instructions tell you if our batteries get low, we're going to switch all the way down to 10% or minimum. Hey, appreciate you watching. Do me a favor, if you will, subscribe to the channel, either the YouTube or the Rumble channel, which this appears in. And if you can, check the notification bell or settings to make sure that you get notified when new videos are posted. Appreciate it. Now, this particular clip is at the end of the night, and we're going to see that, in fact, we're already, looks like we're already just about off. Now, it is. Turn that on so we can see what we've got going on. That is early in the morning, 6.18, and we can see 
they're pretty well much just went off. You see the one when we first started, let me roll that back. One of them is already dead and the other one, this one, the one you see closest to the road was the one that would switch to minimum voltage early on and you can see the other one is already gone. It's already dead. So we know they didn't work all the way through the night. So what I did is I reported that, I talked to them, they sent me out some new lights and they sent these. I noticed that they shipped from the west coast and took more days to get here than the ones that came from my closer to home here in Middle Tennessee. So I may have gotten a fresher batch. I think these are working. So we'll take a look at that. And just for your viewing enjoyment, these are the new ones installed. They've been up. Now, one of the things that I try to do with a kind of solar powered battery thing is I want my batteries fully charged. So I would highly recommend so that you're not aggravated by some of this. Put your battery operated solar device out in the sun for say three days or so so they can get fully charged before you ever let them run through a nighttime cycle which i have done now we've got this video right here and we can see if i use my pointer do you see that little light and that little light well these are doing the the um, motion dust till dawn motion operated so they go down to 10 percent and we can see already the nest cam is already switched over to full color viewing so we're pretty late in the morning i think we're about uh, 6 30 something like that because we're getting ready to watch a school bus roll by and if you'll watch that first light you'll see it going from minimum output right there to the maximum output so let's go ahead and hit that play and let's watch it see if it works here comes our school bus see we we're already in color mode like i say for the nest watch bing so we see from this video that they actually will work they'll motion detect and they'll dim down to minimum and they'll make it all the way through the night so now what was wrong with that first set that looked pretty much like the same complaint somebody else already had when they sent some back maybe they're recycling stuff or maybe they had a date range where some of them weren't much pumpkin and i just happened to get another set like they did it didn't look pre-opened everything looked clean and new but yet they wouldn't function the new set they sent from the west coast are working pretty well so now let's look at the mounting stuff the stuff in the box other than the lights themselves and the poles that are used with them and we'll go over to this other screen and what we see here they do give you two remote controls i guess one is all i needed but maybe you might want to have one by the back porch one by the front porch and so you might want remotes in different locations the hardware these are for masonry wall looks like and these are bolt through for these and i didn't use any of these because i bought some stainless twenty dollars worth of bolts that were a lot shorter than these big long mollygogs we got going through here they're awfully big now they're probably made so that you could use these clamps on a like a four by four square post and they would then be long enough to to clamp with it i'm go just going around that two inch pipe so i wanted some shorter bolts and these actually stuck out pretty far to do it okay there's your instructions one side of your instructions the instructions are just absolutely awful they're they're beyond awful is not even a good word to describe it in in one part of it it says that the light will go down to 30 percent on the other part in the text it says it goes down to 10 percent uh, they don't really answer a lot of questions this is basic to the degree it's not really helpful because it doesn't really tell you what to do we do sort of have over here a manual mode and auto mode you can do two hours and then go into a dust to dawn mode or you can do four hours or three hours bef full bright before you go into reduce power mode in that that motion detector only you can go manual and go obviously up or down and then full bright full minimum here off and on the device has to be turned on the actual luminaire has to be turned on before the these buttons will respond obviously you don't have the light fixture on you can't turn it on remotely because it's not on enough to know it's like unplugging your tv if your tv is turned off your remote won't work but your tv is asleep more than anything else this button have no flipping clue what that thing does and as far as i can tell it doesn't do anything it's just there i don't know if it's a master reset or something but it, even in their little documents right here they just have a red button that does Kind of nothing. I don't know what it does. I don't know what it does. I don't know what it does. All right. So I got one last thing to show you, which will roll the end of video once I've got them up. And you'll see, I don't really have them as high as I'd like. I'd like to have them up at least 15 feet, something like that. But my poles at the road that are existing are not that tall. 
and it does affect that pattern of the radar but you saw the bus being uh, tri tripping it i have other videos of deer tripping it's a little spotty because it's not quite high enough but it does work good enough for what i'm looking for well they're mounted they're a little low for what i would prefer i'd prefer them up about 15 to 17 feet something like that but uh, there should be better than what I had before. They put up more light and uh, they should have, well, they just should be a little bit better until I can get some new poles set. All righty. That's end of it, I think. Uh, again, like I say, I appreciate you watching the show. If you will, do the like and subscribe thing. Comment if you got something to say about it, if you're familiar with this this Amazon branded or this sold on Amazon branded light. We'd appreciate your feedback. Like I say, I know I don't have it as high as they recommend, but the first set wouldn't do anything. If I laid them sideways on the truck and walked away, they wouldn't, they wouldn't trigger on radar at all. These do, it's just not quite the optimal pattern. And of course they make it all the way through the night and they, they do what they're supposed to do. The first set was just clearly bad. Both of them were bad. So appreciate you, appreciate you more than you know. Have a happy end of year celebration of your choice because we have to be politically correct. Someone might get their feelings hurt, but have a happy end of year celebration and a good 2024.